Well, their commitment, I mean, the fact that they really took their commitment seriously, that they really signed on to a deal, you know, sickness, health, health for better or worse. Mm -hmm. I think that that's a hard deal mm -hmm. to make, and it takes a certain kind of couple. Mm -hmm. And so, and I think it's to be lauded. I really do. I think she's a little bit more of a dreamer than he is by far. I think that she's um, attracted more to the world of fantasy a little bit, more than him. She's not as level-headed. Although on the other, and he's a little bit, um, he, he's a little bit of a kind of a crab sometimes. You know, he doesn't want to change at all. He doesn't, and yet, and so she's kind of a, also, she's a little bit his manager too, mm -hmm. his professional manager. Mm -hmm. That that part of her I like that no one's going to you know mess with her husband mm -hmm. and that that's not right about the deal with the dealer you know the art dealer and that she's going to stand up for him. Mm -hmm. I, I like that about her very much. Don't mess with him. Mm -hmm. This is my man. I'm proud of him. And yet at the same time, she's trying to you know manage their his life a little bit. When I saw it the last time, all I thought about, really, I really mean this, is uh, what a great marriage. Mm -hmm. And I think just bringing up the idea of what is marriage mm -hmm. is a good thing for people to see. As an audience member, I think that he, there's something about him that always makes you feel re reassured that you have mm -hmm. the potential to be a good person. Do you see what I mean? Yeah. And I think that there are very, very few people who have that quality. I think. Um, He's singular in that respect. Mm -hmm. We want him to tell us the story of life. We want to believe that everything is going to be okay. And yet again, in this movie, as well as others, which includes Shawshank Redemption mm -hmm. and Driving Miss Daisy, he is the good man. Yeah. He's the good man, the man you want, mm -hmm. that you can trust, that you can be, you know, that you can face the unknown with. And I think that that's really the other issue. It's like you're getting older and you're facing the end zone. She keeps that pace going. You need that pace in this movie. You need Cynthia Nixon in this movie. Well, to me, she's, she's kind of a lost soul, you know, I'm Cynthia in this part. Um, but the fact that she has so much energy and is so driven and is such a dynamic character, but at the same time, she's absolutely filling me with dreams and I'm buying into it, do you know, and, it, and I'm excited. And my life is suddenly going, you know, 60 miles an hour instead of the usual 40.